Welcome back, everyone. I'm the Moy Chicken, and we are back with more Felby 1179. We are trying to get through Paris, and we are going to use... Uh... The hatchback again. Yeah. And I'm gonna go automatic. It's easier. Um, so in the last episode, we went through Paris and tried to, um... Tried to get to the end. And, uh, we got there with the bus. But we didn't get there fast enough. We drove a bus around Paris and gave people a very exciting tour they will not soon forget but unfortunately it was not sufficient to get to the end on time so now we have to try again um, and so we, there, there's sort of two goals as you're trying to accomplish in this level the first one is to find a uh, what do you call it a payphone and smash it with your car which for some reason causes a helicopter to show up at the escape point uh not really sure why that happens but okay um the other thing you have to do is smash a priceless piece of uh, art and find a um a silver scepter which the priceless piece of art is holding and you will use it for your purposes uh and then you have to get to the end and you have to like smash through a shopping district which is kind of neat honestly um it, it's a little tricky though because the uh, just doesn't line up super well. Like there's a, there's like a an unbreakable barrier in front of it, and you have to like deal with that. No, it's just a mess. But we will try and get through it, and hopefully we will succeed. Because I would like to see the ending of this game. Because if I remember correctly, it's kind of stupid. <laughs> I want to say it's like very brief. Like not a whole lot happens. You just kind of I think you just like roll up and drop off the treasures and then leave or something. I don't know. We'll find out, hopefully. But before that, we have to get through Paris. Now, I will say that this car is doing a much better job of steering than the previous two vehicles I drive. Well, I guess I shouldn't say that. The bus had very good steering in, in the fact that it just didn't move very fast. It was very slow, so it was very easy to control. But the uh, the, the the little uh, M MRS, MKZ, whatever vehicle, the one with the automatic uh, car that I had, that one was too fast. It was very, very quick. Very, very hard to control. It was a little, a little scary to drive, um, but so there you go. Alright, now we are in the maze. Once we are in the maze, we have to go through here. Alright, so I gotta try and keep my eye on the ball here. So go to the left now. Left. And then to the right. Continue to move forward and go to the left again. Alright, 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 left again. Left is always the right way. Gaggle! Always gaggle. Gaggling is very important. Um, actually, for the most part, it does seem like that's the case, that you just have to kind of gaggle the entire time and you're fine. Um, break those gates. Get the statue. Break some more gates. And now we just have to make to the end. And we're actually making pretty good time. So uh, let's, let's hope that this little hatchback is the way to go. I mean, it is European, apparently. You know, so there you go. I'm sure. I'm sure the French would love to hear that a a British car is driving around their celebrated city, smashing things and stealing art and architecture. I'm sure that makes them very happy. But you know, I actually I'm inclined to believe that probably my character is American, mostly just because he was in a truck. <laughs> Isn't that silly? That's pretty much why. Like in, in the in the opening video, he's like in a truck. And so I immediately thought, oh, this guy must be American, because he's in a truck. And that's what Americans do. We drive trucks. Except I don't, and I know lots of people who don't. But trucks are very American in my mind for some reason, so... Yeah. We're an American dude who drives a truck, normally, in a British car, stealing from France. It's a good time. Good time. Good, good, th good thing to do. Alright, so now I've got to turn right here, and almost there so I gotta turn into the oh I got lots of time I might be able to do it you guys uh, all right well, well not if I keep running into displays uh okay well can I go this way just a ring yeah scare the people they jump away they jump away I break through I break through all right so now we're at the docks we just have to kind of get to the end and I think I'm making very good time making very good time there's the end. Wow, this was much easier this time. Awesome! Yes! Complete! Fantastic! Alright. 
So let's, I think that's going to be it for the game. Well, not for the, for, for the episode. It's only five minutes, but um, it for the uh, the game. Let's see if we see the ending. So I probably set some more high scores. Yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Uh, highest amount. My amount. Good times. Give me that high score. Good times. So there's this guy again. He has the mysterious statue made of random pieces he found around the globe it sinks into the coffin oh those eyebrows oh i had no idea there was a light stored in there oh and also money what oh no oh no it's burning money oh no not burning money oh my veins they can't handle it Blarg. I guess he dies. And here we are. So American. <laughs> that guy died. Awesome. Time to leave. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> and I... Is that it? No, oh, no. He, he. Why did he take it with him if it just killed that other dude? Okay, well, I guess that's it. We win. Yay! <laughs> Felony 1179, 1997 Yanoman Climax. Uh, alright, so we got some credits now. Um, so yeah, that was, fe oh, I bumped the mic, sorry about that. Uh, that was Felony 1179. Um, it's, it's fun, honestly. It's not smart, it's a dumb game, but it's fun. It's fun, I think, because of the different types of vehicle and the fact, vehicles, and the fact that they play very differently. Wait, is that it? Are those all the credits? Oh, I hope those are all the credits. Tell me that's all there is to this game. Was it really that small team? Yes? No? Huh? Uh... Oh, no, it wasn't. I was, I was really hoping it was gonna be like a 10-person team, like an old NES game. It's like, ah, <laughs> I could totally see it. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, so two things that make this game fun. The different cars, the fact that they played very differently, and the tracks, which are actually kind of pretty close to, um, what would you call it? I guess reasonable tracks, like, yeah. Oh my goodness, excuse me. The thing that make, that would make this game less fun is if you were forced to run into things too often, or if you were forced to make really sharp turns all the time, because the the most of the vehicles seem like they're they're designed for going fast rather than really good uh, steering. And so I think that is a large part of... Well, no, he's going over the uh, the bridge, so there is a way to do it. I just didn't figure it out. Okay, well, there you go. Um, ca car parameter setting. Con Um, I think another thing that would make it more fun, though, is if the uh, if they gave you access to more vehicles from the start. Like, the fact that, you know, I got two more cars every stage was nice, but it would have been nicer if I had kind of, you know, all the cars to play with. Um, although I guess at the same time, that probably wouldn't have made you as excited about getting things like the bus. Uh, by the way, part of, part of what I'm waiting for with the credits is I want to see if uh, they give me more vehicles, and I want to see what those vehicles are. So we will find out. I already tried to skip these. You can't skip them. So. Although, for the most part, I usually tend to like to show the credits for the games I play because, you know, they matter. You know, it's like the, these, these were the people that made the game. It's important to see who made the game, so... Where's that? It's like a subway. I, I, I must have missed that. Oh, it's the staff of Yanoman Games. Okay, I guess there's more credits to go through. Boy, these are slow credits. Is there really nothing I can do to speed them up? Nope, not a thing. We gotta watch. Kind of reminds me of um, the credits from... Uh, what was that game called? Oh, yeah, uh, Arrow Gauge. <laughs> talking about it just earlier um where you can actually hold down the button and it does not skip the credits but it speeds them up and i think that is a very smart way to do it 
<laughs> because that makes that that allows the 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 accredited individuals to feel like they're still their names are still be getting recognized by building again. <sighs> Sorry about that. Um, while at the same time not causing so much grief to the player because this is pretty slow. You know, this is this is sluggish. I don't have a whole lot going on here. Just kind of watching these. Credits slowly amble by. Looking at Japan Media Programming Company Limited. It's a long name. It's also all in caps for some reason. Also, I like that they only apparently only provided one sound effect. So thank you, Japan Media Programming Company Limited, for providing whatever that one sound effect was. There's that car that was that helped me to beat that level, but it was crazy fast. It's hard to control. All music tunes are composed by Shigeo Naka, produced by Shigeo Naka and Hide Hideo uh, Sano, and performed by the Surf Coasters, by the courtesy of Victor Entertainment. Voice effects by Darren, Steve, Jonathan, and Mona, in collaboration with Boomerang Films Incorporated in Sino, California. The Fuji Film logo is a registered trip. Fuji Film? What? Uh, Ueshima Coffee? Pocky and tomato prets? I, I didn't see any of these. Okay. Oh no, now there's a localization team? Oh, it goes on forever. <sighs> oh, Hideaki Irie. Thank you for localizing this silly game. <laughs> this game has been released in, in Japan and Asia with the title of Runabout. That explains why the truck was called Runabout. <laughs> I find it strange that they're telling me that in the credits, though. Why mention that? Seems very odd. And back to Felony 1179. Wonder what the um wonder what the uh, runabout logo looks like. Also as a side note, I want to say that when this game came out, some uh some games magazine mentioned that like I think this said something like Felony 1179 was actually it was actually the crime code for Something really minor. I don't know. But that was pretty funny. Okay. So let's see if we can use new cars. Let's see. Let's see. It's loading forever. Time trial. Go. Um, so let's go back to the seaside. And so do we get new cars? Yes. No. Maybe so. Bus. Dump truck. Limousine. Oh, so you see... Oh, GT1? Okay. Look at these cars we don't have. It's like, how do you open these? How do you unlock all this? It's silly. What else? I mean, I guess... I wonder if they're, like, hidden missions or something. So, okay, let's... Let's play as the dump truck. And... We will destroy things. It'll be a good... Actually, if we're gonna... If we're gonna destroy things, let's go to... Downtown. As a dump truck. It'll be a good time. <laughs> and that'll be it for this series. Dump truck, here we go. Automatic dump truck. Oh yeah. Time trial, downtown. <laughs> Time trial, exclamation point. Time trial! <laughs> oh, time trial! Smash that. Get the Buddha statue. Ready. Leave. And now we drive. Alright, here we go. So, do I have to still do the missions, or do I just have to get to the end? Oh no, it's got very sluggish tri uh, driving. Er, er, oh, it's very heavy. Oh, it's very heavy. Okay. Uh, ow. Um, I want to get to the end. No, natural foods. Fresh foods. Fresh and natural foods. Er, so sluggish. Er, boop. <laughs> This is very difficult to drive. Um, I want to see if I can just go to the end because I don't want to. I don't want to deal with all the dynamite stuff. If I don't have to. That's just a lot of hassle. A lot of hassle for no reason. Um, you know, this kind of reminds me a little bit of. Oh, it's telling me I have to do it. Mm, I guess I have to do it. Okay. Well, you know, this reminds me a little bit of is um, uh, Vice City Manhattan. Uh, something about like the uh the way you're kind of like driving through stuff uh, smashing stuff 
and the cars are all really wonky and strange. And yeah, for whatever reason, it reminds me of that. So there you go. Uh, oh my gosh, come on. This, this car stinks. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try a different one. It plays play a different car. <laughs> one, one more again. One more again. <laughs> All right. What else do we have? I'm gonna play on this one and just try to go really fast. Let's see. So what's what's the fastest vehicle? So, um, horsepower, two seventy five, three ninety five, two thirty five, two eighty. I don't. I was just looking for a speed button, but none of these really tell me very much. Um, uh, I will just use the race car. Where's the race car? Somewhere over here? Race car? Somewhere? Bus? Bus is so cool. There we go. GT1. Uh, manual GT1. Okay. So we're just going to try and go fast. <laughs> Time trial! Seaside. It's, it's not actually seaside. It's sea side. That's kind of weird. Usually a sea does one word. There's the limo. It's a good time. Here we go. We're in a race car. We're going to try to go fast. Ready! Ready! Go! <laughs> Alright, go fast. Going so fast. Oh no. Oh no, going so fishtail. Going so fishtail. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Here we go. Okay. 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 Uh, mm. Uh, yes. Go. Go, though. All right. Here we go again. Going super fast. Going super fast now. 73 miles per hour over the speed limit. Oh no! It's okay. It's okay. We're a police car. We're not a police car. We're a, we're a racing car. We're supposed to be fast. All right. Keep, oh no! Oh no! Ow! Ow though. Oh hey, my car actually can't get damaged. I hadn't noticed that before. Um, I guess that's a time tri trial thing. Uh, so can I go this way? Does this lead me lead to anything? I'll go this way. Nope. Nope. Can't go that way. That is a big nope. This this kind of makes me want to play um San Francisco Rush, actually. Because I want to like find secret areas like in that game. That, that game is fun for doing that kind of stuff. Alright. How fast can we go? Here we go. Go fast. Going so fast. Going so fast. Don't want to pay tolls. Going so fast. Don't want to pay tolls. Here we go. Nope. Nope. Nope, gonna pay tolls. Gonna pay tolls. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Don't wanna pay tolls. There we go. Awesome. Alright. Faster. Faster. Oh! <laughs> I wish that car had gone like sailing off the edge there. That would have been awesome. This is, uh. I feel like this, this car would be really fun if you were super good with the steering wheel. Like, if you're playing the game with the peripheral, and, uh... Ow, though. Can I go through here? Are there secrets here? Secrets for me to find? There are secrets for me to find. Yes, yes. Um, no, though. Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay. Ambulance. Ambu ambulance. Ambulance. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Exploded for some reason! Oh, good thing my car is in perfect condition still. Uh, where's... So, oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. I will survive. Oh, there we go again. <laughs> Exploded again. Oh, yeah. Oh, we made it. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. We will survive. Okay. Okay. Nope. Oh, my goodness. Um. No. Go, go that way. Yes. Yes. Alright, I wanna try and get over the uh wanna do the ramp. Here we go. Doing the ramp. Doing the ramp. Yeah! Oh, that was actually pretty easy. I kind of expected myself to well, I mean there we go, but expecting myself to die more from that. Fortunately I did not. Yay. And I completely missed the uh limousine, but that's okay. It's alright. Limousines aren't life. They're not the most important thing in life. The most important thing in life is getting sicker. 
Um, but I think there's a police blockade right up here somewhere else. Somewhere else, right there, I think. Yeah, so there we go. No problem, no problem. There goes the ambulance. Going towards the wreck. I don't want to go down there, because there's a wreck. So let's go this way. Going so fast. And we're dead. Alright, that's going to be it for this episode. I'm just goofing off. I'm the Moy Chicken. This is uh, Felony 1179. It's a fun game. You know, if you, if, you, if you find it, give it a try. It's short. It's fun. And uh, yeah, I'm signing off. Thanks for stopping by.